Deborah and Jerome Scott, the Power Company of America Plan, and they're getting the job done. All right. Well, you know, this is just an awesome Sunday, and then the weather couldn't be more prettier in Chicago. But we're just enjoying the opportunity to be in front of you guys, and we're really humbling ourselves to know that, you know, we've been in this company for 15 years, and things are still going great, because there's not a lot of companies that can say that. Because when you're in a network marketing company, most of the time, people network out. But this program, you'll never run out of people as long as you know people with teeth that need to get some. And then you know people may have need a prescription every now and then. And a lot of times you just don't have uh, the opportunity to have the benefits that you really want to have because time change, things change, job change, and people age change, right? <laughs> so those are things we can't control. But one thing we can control is how we can offer such a great benefit to others who's never heard of this company before. Even though we've been featured on Good Morning America, even though that you see us almost as a household name, and even though we have different backgrounds and different things change, people, they hear about a mayor plan but sometimes it gets in the back of their mind. So what we like to do is let people know AmeriPlan is a 20-year-old company. They sell it, and you're going to hear more and more about it because you are the advertisers. So just think you are the meat of uh, Chicago right now, and people are going to sprout out against you, I mean, from you, and they're going to know about AmeriPlan because you are the leader of your own company. So we're the leaders. You guys are the leaders and you're the owners of your own company, say like it's as if you were like a Blue Cross Blue Shield or um, we call it Health Alliance or other PPOs that's in the area. So you don't have nothing to worry about when it comes to the affordable health plan because you are the affordable health plan. <laughs> yeah. So I'll just give you a little bit. Um, Javon's going to give you the rest, but my background was of, um, of really of insurance. I love serving people with the fact that they can have an affordable benefit. Because if you guys know anything about insurance, it can really kill you, especially if you're paying for it on your own. So I have something that I, I'm proud to offer, and I have uh, 16 years background at Blue Cross Blue Shield, and then when Jerome said, we should do this full time instead of working part time, because our part time income wind up being more than our full time income. So what decision do you think Jerome and I made? Of course, we're doing the mirror plan because our income is triple, but he has more of an extensive background than I have in network marketing and in business, and basically he knows the in and out of education and educating other people. So putting these two together, we can help but to win and spread the word to you guys to duplicate what we have had to success to uh, had presented to us and then share it with our family and friends. I'll tell you, who's the hardest worker? I, I can tell you, you guys are hard workers, I can tell, just by looking at you guys, because you're very attentive and you, you're patient. But I'm gonna tell you about my husband. Background is, is awesome. Basically, he had 20-some years of background in doing network marketing. It, it, you know, he's very humble about it. I mean, he has so much um, to offer to so many people, he gives and gives and gives. So let me just give you an example of what Jerome is. Um, I know my friend here, tell me your name. I, he went to school with Jerome. James, James, I heard your name so many times. You know, um, he talked about you when he was going to the uh, alumni. And I know you've been in almost every project, so you can contest to the things I'm telling you. And Jerome has worked so hard at, in, in making other people successful, he forgets about himself, right? And we, we have a favorite restaurant 
in uh, Detroit called J. Alexander. Anybody ever heard of J. Alexander? Yeah, well, we have it and we love that restaurant. We were finished with this big meeting, you know, so we sitting down there and we finally got our order, our prime rib. He loves prime rib, not me. I was me. I had fish. So anyway, he had this big prime rib and then it was all ready for him to dig into, right? And this one person trying to get to a special promotion, trying to get to the next level, she wants to do a three-way at that time. I looked at my food because we hadn't ate all day, right? <laughs> I was like, uh-uh, I got to eat. And then Jerome got up from his prime rib and did the three-way because the restaurant was so noisy, but that's the kind of guy he is. So he's looking for your success to predicate our success. Well, thank you, dear. Man, that was some really nice stuff. Oh, I know, I forgot. Every time we go someplace and we see some really neat stuff, or we attended the uh, Women's Black Expo, that was really fantastic, by the way, absolutely awesome. And uh, she was pointing out some of this expensive jewelry. And so whenever things like that happen, I, for some reason or another, I always get a nice introduction. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Just my attempt at humor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, seriously, I think about a merit plan. I'm an analytical person. In school, you know, I was, uh, my degree was in accounting and financial administration, then I went on to get a master's in educational leadership. I've been groomed to be a principal. But I always had the business bug, but I didn't have any great inheritance, and I didn't have any money. <laughs> so the last time I checked, you need quite a bit of money to start a McDonald's or Burger King or whatever the case may be. But here comes network marketing where you can get involved in some things for just a minuscule amount of money. And if you're really willing to work, you know, it can, uh, you can leverage that out and, and make some decent money. But you have to love what you do. So um, by me being analytical, I always look at the numbers. And I understand what residual income is. And once a person can appreciate that and you understand it's like a luxury once enjoyed becomes a necessity. The best way I understand residual income is to be you can sell something one time and keep getting paid over and over and over again. And to me, that's what it's all about. Deborah was very successful. She signed up for child care uh, over 10 years ago and we're still getting paid hundreds of dollars a month on that one child care. So that's to give you an idea as to the power of residual income. I tell you, um, my father, uh, my father um, been with us. I just recently he uh, made his transition, and, but thanks to a merit plan and residual income, we had some of the greatest times of our lives. And I want you to know that when we signed him up in a merit plan, uh, he ended up becoming a national sales director, even though he was over 80 years old. And um, and there were times, and he would say, Jerome, I don't know if I can hand these flyers out. And I say, Dad. Look here, we're trying to get to this position. You better get out there. I don't care about that arthritis. So, they're <laughs> so no, it was just, no, I wasn't really like that. Though. <laughs> but it's one of the proudest moments of my life when he was able to walk across that stage in Dallas, Texas, and be pinned as a national sales director. And then, and that, and that was it. Yep, yep. I, I never ever forget that. Had this cane and everything, but he was so proud, and I was so proud. And he was there uh, when I became a national vice president as well. So um, uh, we were crazy about our parents. Uh, Deborah's mother, Willie, she a um, national sales director also, because we want to give back. Because there's no way in the world neither one of us would be where we are if it wasn't for our parents. And uh, I always had a special love for um, the senior citizens and a special love for the kids. That's why I was into teaching and everything. And it was really funny. I remember mean, my mother said something one day. She says, uh, dang, you know, they always want us to do that. They act like we old or something. And she was like 79 at the time. So now I catch myself. I be saying, you know, this is what you do when you get up in age and blah, blah, blah. And uh, next thing I know, I was getting ARP cards and stuff. <laughs> Say, dog, time flies, Jack. <laughs> but, you know, the point I'm trying to make is the power of residual income. Uh, there was a time when we were tireless, Jack. We wouldn't sleep any more than three or four hours. And I would tell all my downlines, say, look, you got any questions, anything, you call me anytime, up to one or two o'clock, I'm there for you. And then about five years ago, I say, anytime, up to 12 midnight, okay? <laughs> and about two years ago, anytime up to 11. <laughs> and so, you know how it goes. But the bottom line is, residual income comes no matter what because we did the work. And when we got started, it had a flat rate one program and it did not have all the offerings that we have now. To be able to get between 20 and 40 percent 
on an ongoing basis is unheard of in this industry, especially with a plan that's so affordable and is so well, there's so much needed. No pre-existing conditions, you know, it's not a factor. You know, it goes in parallel with Obamacare, which is a good thing. They want people to be able to get access, access to insurance and not have to worry about pre-existing conditions. They want it to be affordable for the masses. I think our price point says that it's affordable for the masses. And so to me, even though it's not insurance, in some cases it's better than insurance. How many times? I sold insurance for New York Life and John Hancock. And I know they have some great programs, two of the largest, most successful companies in the United States. And I tell you something, nowhere did I ever see a health plan whereby you can sign up for it and, um, and, and, and not have a waiting period and actually not have pre-existing conditions go against you. It don't exist. It don't exist. Not in the health field. And in most dental insurances today, it's going to tell you you got a 30, between a 30-day and 180-day, depending on what you're going for. A marriage plan, no waiting period. In fact, if you start early enough in the morning, get that ID number, you can go to the dentist that same day. It don't get any better than that. This is what we are marketing. This is what we're marketing. So it's not difficult to sell that. Our grandchildren sell this. Of course, we get credit for it because they're not 18. But still, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's real easy. All you have to do is let people know what we got. And then we get paid between 20 and 40 percent on an ongoing basis. It's a powerful program. Residual income is where it's at. So I just want to say, um, and we got started, and, and I, I went to an AmeriPlan meeting, and I think what it was, I got it. I saw the, uh, the opportunity. I still flew out to Dallas to kick the tires, because I know from a long time ago, you can spend a lifetime building up your reputation and you can destroy it overnight if you're not careful. I say, this sounds good. I have an insurance background. I know it's good. But I got together with a couple of my leaders. In fact, the young lady you heard from earlier, Lorraine Brown Walker, she flew out to Dallas with me. And, and Deborah and I and I, we looked at it. I had another guy from um, Atlanta and we checked it out and we all decided that we was going to go for it. And that was one of the best decisions that we ever, ever made. As a result of that, no matter what we do, thousands and thousands of dollars every single month comes in to our account. And so, um, and I'm so thankful for that, but more thankful that we've been able to empower other people. It, it, it just thrills me to have a senior citizen tell me, she says, Scott, this, this money we're making, I never made this, I never dreamed I would make this in my lifetime. That makes me happier than anything. We've been to the mountaintop, as Martin Luther King would say. We know what it's like to do certain things, but nothing thrills me more. What can you do if you don't have friends to enjoy it with? And when you can sign up anybody, regardless of their social, economic, educational background, and help them be successful, that is fulfilling. And that's what we stand in. That's why we go anywhere and everywhere. We, our effort is in direct proportion to how serious we perceive our candidates are. So if you see something you like here, I don't care what your background is, especially with the leadership here in Chicago, you can do it. You can definitely do it. Make no mistake about it.